Hi guys, gonna have to make this a, a pretty quick video really because uh, my battery's about to die. I've taken uh, quite a bit of footage today of various things. Um, so I've got two knives to show you. Uh, first one is this, which is one of my Bloodhounds, uh, which is a nightmare to make a sheath for. Um, as requested, Molly clip on the back. And to get it out, it's basically just rock it up and out and back in. You need a bit more effort to get it back in. But you get the idea. It's easy with two hands, but it comes out quick, that's the main thing. And it's got an axe-like front with a convex edge. Uh, quite a big swedge on the top. Uh, it's 8mm thick D2, about 59.2 Rockwell. A uh, big recurve on there. The grind lines are not bad really, considering. It's a difficult knife for me to do this. It's got a stonewashed gun blue finish. It makes it look quite old and worn. Uh, scales are uh, OD green and black G10 uh, in one by one pattern with their six mil stainless tubes. Uh, it's a tough thumbs reptilian with just a little bit extra just to make it look a bit different. Um, pommel on the back. Modified the handle slightly to what it was originally cut at to make it, it was just a bit more comfortable. Which I need to alter into card, but feels nice in the hand. Will be devastating at close range if you had to use this as a self defense weapon with that. You're never going to break the tip either, so you could definitely pry your door open with it, no problem. Um, I've actually got a video. Um, of me pulling apart pallets and testing this edge beating the crap out of it with a hammer from the back Okay. Oh, a bit awkward where I'm sat. So, put this one back in the sheet. A lot easier without the camera. And the second one is this, which is a Hellhound in 6mm thick D2. Again, 59.2 Rockwell. And it's got the Digicam. Scales, which I believe is Marpat, but I'll, I might be wrong, might be, might be Cadpat, not sure. Um, has got a bit of rattle, but I deliberately didn't want to make it too tight because I didn't want to scratch the blade on it. Perfect retention on that one. Um, pommel end, it's a matching lanyard with a bead. Jumping on the back for reverse grip. Uh, this one has the most complex finish that I've ever done on a knife um, and definitely the most time consuming. I will do it again but not very often. It was a pain in the ass to do to be brutally honest. Um, the only hellhound so far, this is number 12 that's got a swedge in it. And it's got the jumping on the back. And the scales on this are removable, uh, which has uh, monkey edge bolts holding it on, which are now like rocking or shit. You can't get them anymore, at least I don't know where from. Uh, monkey edge don't list them on the website anymore. The scales are C Tech bolsters with a glow in the dark spacer and a pattern that I don't, don't really have a name for. It's not really. 
not really thought of anything as such. Um, but yeah, the SeaTech has a, a, a matte finish on it. Um, so it's bead blasted, it was sanded, polished and then bead blasted. And I think that's actually the nicest finish that you could ask for really on SeaTech. I think it looks way better than being polished. Obviously, the Makata there. And glow in the dark liners too. It's quite chunky this one. I was going to kind of contour it a bit more, but to be honest, in a gloved hand it feels nice and positive. But the finish... Don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Definitely took some doing. definitely the most time-consuming hellhound I've done so far and one of the most difficult set of scales as well with that SeaTech. The SeaTech's really risky, it tends to blow apart. That was done by hand as well, not with a mill. Using a carbide rotary tool, carbide burr, sorry, in a rotary tool. And this will go on gear bastion. And won't be the cheapest of hellhounds that I've made, but price will reflect the time that's gone into making these scales, putting the finish on these scales, the C Tech. And the finish on the blade. Six mm D2. The only one so far in existence in six mm and D2. The rest have all been eight. I did want to keep this for myself, but when we're moving, needs must.